Welcome. Today we are talking about the importance of metadata for your NFT and also for the overall quality of the entire NFT uh, space. As you can see on my screen, um, I prepared uh, three NFTs today. Uh, two of them I created my own and one I'm owning called uh, P Pirates. And uh, yeah, in the course of this video, we're gonna look at all of those uh, three NFTs, um, analyze their metadata, and uh, yeah, we're gonna find some good and bad practice and hopefully uh, it's gonna help you uh, for analyzing metadata in the future, but also creating your own NFT metadata. Metadata is really important. It's not only revealing information about the storage of your NFT, which is very important, but also um, yeah, additional information like name, uh, description, uh, a description could be very detailed, so you could uh, tell about the NFT, you could uh, tell about your project and the purpose of your project, but also adding uh, company data, adding in a URL or a Telegram handle or whatever. And uh, yeah, also you can add a lot of properties uh, to your NFT. So that supports um, yeah, the levels of uh, different scarcity, so uh, it, it improves searchability of your NFT and it gives, it gives your project a lot more strength and depth. So um, yeah, really important. Uh, let's dive into it. So as you can see, um, I got uh, three NFTs here. I'm gonna click the first one and let's look what we have there. This is NFT one. Uh, I have no description. Um, so I see basically I see a creator and owner that's good um, and a collection so um, yeah but not much having a preview of the NFT that's for sure let's hit details and see what we have so um, I got information here about metadata token contract and media on IPFS for those of you who are not aware of IPFS, it's called the Interplanetary uh, File System. And uh, yeah, it's basically uh, decentralized storage. So um, if you own an NFT, you really want to make sure uh, that your NFT is stored on IPFS because um, otherwise it would not be a high quality NFT and um, yeah, it would be uh, centrally stored maybe and uh, yeah, that's not good practice. And also if you want to have uh, yeah, fun with your NFT for a long uh, period of time, uh, centralized storage would not be a very good option. So let's click metadata. So this directs us uh, to uh, a different URL. Uh, we can see a squid in ipfs.io. So uh, that's an API and uh, we see it's stored on IPFS. We also see that we have, um, yeah, here we have uh, an ID, which is uh, super nice. And uh, yeah, basically uh, this ID is, uh, yeah, the storage uh, of this metadata here. But we can also see um, uh, where our image is stored. Um, so that's uh, very important as well. Um, gonna look for that, copy paste real quick. And uh, yeah, hopefully we see our NFT there. Nice. So yeah, now you can see that uh, your NFT is basically stored on IPFS, which is decentralized storage. Um, that's pretty good. But uh, if we look at the metadata again, um, there's not much information to it. So um, I see this JSON output here, but uh, yeah, the name, it's NFT1, there's no description, um, attributes, it's uh, empty. So there's really not a lot of information that makes this NFT um, unique and differentiable. So um, let's look at uh, another example. Nice, so uh, now we have a name, called. it's called Nemo. And we also have a description here, um, Nemo having the best day of his life in the coral reef. Okay, so now I have a description of the NFT itself, but also I have, um, it's a series of amazing underwater photos. And uh, there's some additional information about the revenue will be used to restore coral reefs uh, around the world. 
Nice. So now I have um, yeah some information about the project and also some information about the purpose of the project. So this is really bound to some utility. Um, that's really interesting. Um, I also see properties here. So they've added uh, background, uh, species, color. So that adds a lot more quality to the NFT. So let's go for the details again. And uh, yeah, click metadata. As you can see now, it's directing me again to uh, another URL, uh, which is an IPFS uh, URL. And now we see this output here. Uh, so um, we have a name, we have a description, we again have the image stored on IPFS, but now we also have attributes, right? And so um, we have a lot of information here about the NFT itself, but also uh, we have a trade type called scarcity, uh, which is 9 out of 10. So I really can say, okay, I've got a really scarce NFT. And uh, we also have a trade type called organization. And uh, yeah, um, a value Cora Rescue. So the organization behind that uh, might be called uh, Cora Rescue. And uh, yeah, if we compare that metadata to the previous one, uh, yeah, we see there's a, there's a big difference. So um, you really want to make sure you add information um, yeah, to tell your customers, to tell the people out there what you're doing, what the NFT is about and uh, what the project is about. So, um, nice. Uh, we can also go uh, to the media on IPFS directly. Squid is very uh, transparent about this. So it really makes it easy to uh, track where the image is stored. And uh, yeah, basically it's the same link, um, squid.infura. Uh, ipfs.io and then uh, we always have this ID that is pointing us uh, to the image source. Nice, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna look at uh, the third NFT which is uh, a peep pirate and uh, yeah I'm owning this NFT it's uh, number 87 so um, there are also some properties here and uh, yeah, let's click on one of those properties. Okay, so now we are on this overview page uh, for the Peepverse Pirates uh, collection. And um, yeah, I want to show you a real use case why metadata is very important. Uh, we see to the left here, we see traits and um, yeah, we see all the properties that are bound to uh, all of those NFTs. And as you can see, we have uh, more than uh, 1000 uh, unique items. So let's, for example, click on head and select uh, bandana. So what we're doing now, we are, um, yeah, searching all those uh, 1000 items uh, for every NFT having a bandana and see what we get. We get all the NFTs with bandana. If I like uh, the captain head, um, I could now select captain head and uh, yeah, hopefully get all the captain heads and that's where we go. Uh, so really the metadata gives me also the uh, ability to really search uh, uh, an entire collection, an entire NFT project. And uh, so if we now, we now see that, uh, for example, the head, uh, it's a uh, scarcity is 50-50. But if we uh, look at uh, race, for example, we see there are a lot of different ones. So um, I'm uh, gonna select jellyfish and uh, yeah, I got all the jellyfish. So um, this really gives a lot uh, more uh, quality to your NFT. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have feedbacks or questions, please uh, put them in the comments below. Happy to answer them as always. And uh, yeah, check out our social media channels uh, for news and updates. Follow us on Twitter. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content and have a good day.